guys, it's Jill, and today I'm coming at you guys with a day in the life sort of vlog. I'm going to be riding some ponies, and then I have a class. Today, my 10 a.m. did not happen because I just have like a video quiz to do online. If you don't know, I'm a college student. That happens sometimes, but yeah, so I'm just gonna bring you guys along with me throughout my day. But first, before we just jump into this video, I wanted to quickly announce that I started my own podcast, and I'm very, very excited about it, and I love doing it, and I'm like a little bit addicted to doing it. It's kind of ridiculous. But essentially, I just kind of discuss my training with the horses and how things are going, what I'm learning, and what I'm reading, like this book. Riding with the Clicker by Alexander Curlin, what I'm currently reading. And um, I just wanted, and all the dings, but I just wanted to create a platform where I can talk about that and there's not really a time constraint, so I can talk for like 30 minutes or an hour, like if you're on your drive or you're mucking out stalls or something, it's just something to pop in and listen to. But hopefully you guys will find it interesting and enjoy it as much as I do, because I love it. So I, I hope that you guys are like, oh, this is interesting. But you can find it at Anchor and Spotify currently. If it's available on more platforms by the time this video goes up, I will link it down below. Just look up Equine in Theory. Soon it should be available on whatever platform you can listen to podcasts on. I don't know how long that's gonna take, but within the next week or so, it should be up everywhere. Check that out. I absolutely love it, and I hope you guys love it as much as I do. And uh, yeah, it's just another cool platform that I can you know, post on. And I do apologize for the bit of inconsistency that's been going on on this YouTube channel. I have really been struggling between college and work and all the other wonderful life things to film and edit. And the videos that I've been filming a lot have been the positive reinforcement progress videos, but those don't typically do super well. <laughs> like for instance, videos like barn vlogs tend to get like 15, 16,000 views and the positive reinforcement progress ones get like Five. Clearly that's not something that you guys are particularly interested in, so I will keep posting those here and there, but I'm gonna try and space out with some content that you guys seem to actually like. But yeah, anyway, let's get rockin' and rollin' on this video. I also always get asked how I do my hair under my helmet, and I just wind it up, and then make it a bun. I do a little bit of that, toss the helmet on. And I like to put my helmet on first just so I don't have to like come back and grab it later. I know it makes me look dumb, but like, you know. <laughs> now we gotta go catch the pony. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> She's insane. Then we got Cricky over there. Twinkie's laying down. If you are looking for a horse, we are located in Arkansas. What? Do not jump on me. <laughs> So if you are interested in potentially purchasing one of them, you can look at jetequitheory.com slash available dash horses, or just go to jetequitheory.com and then click on the available horses tab. And you can look at all of them, see their pictures and their videos. So very pretty out here in Debeck 40. Maze, you are so far away. I hope you have shoes. She just got shoes put on the other day and I haven't ridden her in quite a while because she hasn't had shoes. So hopefully she still has them. This is gross, that's fine. I don't have boots on or anything. Oh God, <laughs> very muddy. Hi, big chicken. We're captured and we're off. You, I swear, Mila loves it out here more than anything. Could not have brought her to a better place. How are you? Oh, well, that's not a very good answer. Pretty girl. I don't understand why she hasn't been purchased yet because, oh my god, look at her. And she has the best brain. You have awesome movements. Such a good girl. Say hi to chickens. She says, I do not care about chickens. Also something I will say about this mare is she's a gray and she lives in a very muddy field and look at her. Just saying.
obvious to you guys, but I have not known this mare to not move forward, like, like move out. I'm using my boss's other saddle because her other one, the billets got eaten by rats. So I'm using this one, but I think it's just not sitting right on her because she really doesn't want to go forward. And last time I rode her, I could smooch and she'd pick up a lovely little canter. So I'm thinking that she's trying to tell me something because this mare is not naughty at all. So I'm going to choose to listen to her. Tomorrow I'm gonna lunge her and put my dressage saddle on and see if she's better in that. And I also just texted Sunny, her owner and my boss, out getting her chiropractic and adjusted just to make sure we clear all our bases. She's had her teeth done, so we're good in that department. She's not one to like say absolutely not, no, I'm not going forward. So I'm gonna give you the benefit of the doubt and we'll see what's up. So I left my camera over at the wash rack when I took Maze out. Oh my god, I just thought that was a spider. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Anyway, so I just moved Beauty over there because she was beating Vistow up for some reason. Not sure what her little deal is, but she was being very mean to him. So separated to them. They can still touch over the fence and she's got buddies around her, but for now she's just gonna be in that little paddock. But now I'm coming to get this handsome man. How you do, Croquet? This is Cricket. If you do not know, we call him Croquet. You're five now, right? A little baby bird. He's like the most sane baby horse. So I'm gonna get on him and ride him. See what's up before I have to go to my class. And this thing, it's been running like a maniac. So even though it may appear on Cricket, somebody did a bad clip job, like on his hind end, those would be bite marks and kick marks from where him and Leo play. And they're so rough on each other. They're so rough on each other. He's got so many little bites. So I am sharing saddle pads. It's okay. I'm so tired. <laughs> oh, he's so bored. Oh, he's so bored. He's too crazy. Oh, he's so bored. This horse is awesome. I love him. Oh, my battery's about to die. Time to go get a new one. Good as new. Ready to go. New battery installed. I think it's a big handsome. Off we go, Mr. Man.
So the next step of today, whoa, that's not good. I'm gonna get clean and then go to my class. This is, I have to do something about that. So look, out yonder. Why is the zoom so slow? We'll get there soon, guys. Hold on. Hold. There are the beans. There's Mac, Rosie, and Zatsu. Oh dear, okay. And then the ticket. With all my crap on my porch. It's a trailer park, isn't it? So it says I'm his so I've been running around all day long. Are you tired, ticket? <laughs> okay, everyone. I am in my car, we are mobile, but we're not quite on the road yet, so don't shoot me for filming. Oh, I can do that. Yeah, let's just hold it steady. So I am now on my way to my 2 p.m., which is Spanish. I just took a shower really quickly. Like, didn't do my face, so I could still have makeup on. <laughs> but uh, washed my hair because it was gross and I was sweaty, <laughs> so. Okay, now I'm driving on the road and you can be mad at me, but it's fine. I'm looking this direction, that's what sunglasses are for, so you can't tell where I'm looking. Now I'm going to get food, I'm gonna go get some Burger King because, whoa, I'm healthy. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's pretty much it. I realized that I have a test that I have to do. Um, do you like my pot? It's like a little pot. <laughs> um, I have a test for developmental psychology online tonight. And I also have a quiz I have to do for learning, and your girl needs to make an A on that, because I currently have an 86 in learning. <sighs> that class is so hard that I have A's everywhere else, and I would really like to keep my full point up. I'll catch up with you guys later, but I know the first thing I'm gonna do when I get home is take a fat nap, because I'm so tired. So I just got home. It's obviously much prettier than it was this morning. <clears throat> I have a chicken. How you do? What are you doing? What? Goof. Two other chickens over here, very ready to come inside. Hello everyone. He is so mean to you. God, you're both so gross. Hi, Doodle. You're s oh my god. I know what I'm doing tonight. I would pet you, Bean, but he'll just run you off. Like that. Oh my goodness, you're so dirty. I have keys. Is that going to bother you? Oh, yep. You don't need them. <laughs> ah, home sweet home. <laughs> Pick it up. You got it. Third time's a charm. <laughs> Look at all my boots. It's so gross. These are my home. Look at it. I even did my dishes. Now it is time to take the shoes off, take a quick nap, and then maybe I'll go work with the ponies in their stalls while it's still light out. And then probably gonna start on some homework later. Super fun existence I have here. My hair is significantly frizzier than it was before, but that's fine, you know? And then the rest of the night, We'll be editing this. Hi, I'm currently editing this and it's 2.40 in the morning. <laughs> Inception. <laughs> I have an announcement for irresponsible people everywhere. If you don't do your dishes, you'll get gnats in your house. <laughs> and so I've been dealing with some gnats lately and I was just using the bathroom. Ooh, glamorous. And I was like, how many gnats are in here? I don't know why they migrated to my bathroom after I did my dishes. But there are a few of them in there, and I was like, I wonder where they are. And I turned around, and there was a wasp on my window, you know, behind me. Miss, I'm trying to, you know, use the bathroom in peace. So I got a little flask water, and I said, I'm so sorry, Mr. Wasp, but you can't be here. And smacked him, and then I put him in the toilet, and I flushed him. I don't, how on earth did he get in here? Why did this stuff happen to me? I'm trying to use the bathroom, and I got wasps, you know what I'm saying? This is ridiculous.
My eyes do be green though. Ooh. I have the worst allergies ever right now. I'm so tired. I'm about to go do some work with McAdoo and Zazu Bean. Before it gets dark. We are suited up. And look who's here. Hello. She says you disappeared. <laughs> Why does it smell like skunk everywhere? Ew. We go into the feed room. <gasps> look at the kitty cats. Gotta say hi. A little family of all black cats. Hello. We have Jet and we have Rocco and then we have Digi. Um, we found Digi at Dollar General and we, as mean as it sounds, we trapped him and brought him here because we were worried about him being so little being out there because it's like surrounded by like a little junkyard thing and we did not want him to die. We could not catch any of the adult cats but we got him and he's much friendlier than he used to be. But I'm filling up my little fanny pack here with um, some alfalfa pellets. Can you, you're in the way, excuse me. These are just like little, they're a pretty good size pellet and they're Do More brand. They make very good training treats because the horses like them, but they're not super salient, not super high in sugar and all that. I knew there was something that I was going to do and I forgot what it was. And now that I see how dirty you are, I do remember. Can you smile? It's <laughs> a few little treats. Let me go get the brushes. So I have my water bottle tied here. That's what I'm using as my stationary target. So I just have Zoe touch it and stand at it while I brush her so we don't get a lot of moving around. Touch. Like that. Not that. No, no, right here. Touch. Touch. Yes, ma'am. So the next few tools of torture are these guys. Cause Zoe's tail is dragging the ground. She's gonna step on it and break it up. So I decided to let the top of her tail grow out. Cause I mean, for eventing we always clip up here and it's so long now, but it, <laughs> I hate the way it looks. I can't wait for it to grow out into a full tail. So this stuff is just like coconut spray. I think it's called Palmer's coconut oil formula. And it just helps make the hair a little more slickery. Her tail used to be so thin and scrawny and little and now it's, <laughs> It's so long and voluminous. I'm just gonna slide down here. Do a little chop job. It's all gone. Look how much hair. Ah! They usually come out here much later after they've been fed. So they're ready to work with pellets again. But I think right now she's kind of like, I just ate. I don't really need your pellets. <laughs> so she's only choosing to work for carrots. Which is not great because I don't have a ton of carrots. <laughs> Here's our finished product. Oh, your little uh, dapples. Oh, that's very cute. <laughs> Are starting to come in. Here you go. I'll give you a carrot for that. Come on. His smile isn't as great as Zoe's, but he doesn't have a super prehensile lip, so we get what we can take from McAdoo. Do I want him to stand while I do this? I'm opting not to use the water bottle because I forgot it. Oops. Dropping your head works. To add that to criteria if you want to. Thinking he has some ulcers just due to how sensitive he is to the touch. So I'm being really gentle with my currying. Since I would rather you not, actually. Calm. Yes. Good man. Calm. Good boy. He also has a tendency to hold his head very high, so this is very good practice for him. Calm. I wasn't expecting such a quick response. Calm. I think it's pulling on his hair, and he doesn't like it. Calm. Calm. 
sides. Rock on. Appreciate that. Five, four, three. You definitely have ulcers. Every time I get to an area where you palpate them for ulcers, he tries to bite or tells me that that doesn't feel good. Because he's not actually biting me. Calm. Calm and relax. which could be particularly um, stressful for him if maybe he's a little sensitive to touch because he has ulcers, calm, then uh, it makes it a little bit easier on everyone. And I'm trying to be as gentle as I can so that I don't poke him and make him uncomfortable. And see, he's starting to leave his head low, which is muy bien. in there, but I like it. When I move my shoulder into him and twirl a little bit, he moves his head away so I can go to the other side. That's so brilliant. Oh, but he's so good now. Before touching your head wasn't even a thing. Like that? Because he was head shy, so I taught him to target my hand with his head. Your tail is so beautiful, if only it would grow. I used to be partnered with Biomain, and I've reached out to them like three times um, since for him, and they won't respond to my email, so I don't know what happened, but they don't want to work with me. And I need you to have a tail for the Retired Racehorse Project. It would be great if you work for Biomain. <laughs> Retired Racehorse Project, we say, oh, we use Biomain to help his tail. It was little. His tail is little. It's a beautiful tail. I don't know. Here. I'll just show you. Macaroni's tail. It's black and white. He's got a skunk tail. It's beautiful. Don't you think? I think so. It matches him with his black and white face. Smile. You're cute. Two kids. You guys are so pretty. Mac, you are handsome. Zoe, you are beautiful. Don't trust him. He's gonna bite you. Don't trust him. He'll do it. <coughs> yep, because he's a turn. Can you both smile? Zoe can smile. Good one! We are finally going to home sweet home. And I have Imposter visitors. Be nice. Myla, come here. Okay. Now that we're all on the porch, you evil beings. <laughs> I love cats, but they are so mean to Myla. I don't know this is boring, but this is what I'm doing. I'm eating Reese's Puffs and watching Catfish. <laughs> it's like the best show ever. So great. I just found out it's on Hulu, so I've been like binging. <laughs> Oof, again, today, my hair is just not having it with me today. Sorry about that, guys. I don't, you know what, whatever. Anyway, now it is time to watch this video. Then I have to take a quiz over it, and then I have an exam or a quiz or something for my developmental psych class, but this one is for my learning class, so. I'm so mad. 
the class that I needed to do well in. I missed two questions out of 10, which gave me a 20 out of 25, which is an 80 or something. So my grade is an 86. And I just took my exam for developmental. And do you know what I got? 50 out of 150. 30 questions, 150 out of 150. Why can't I do this well in the other class? Drives me insane. Like, mm, I'm so mad. So mad. I even wrote a lengthy email to my professor. Like, your questions are too confusing. I need a little more help. I need some clarity. Because it's like, the questions, they're like trick questions. You can interpret them like three different ways. And that's so confusing for somebody who overthinks and is like, wait, could, does it mean this or does it mean this? I spend more time trying to figure out what the question's asking than trying to figure out what the answer is. I'm an irritated individual. <laughs> But anyway, I think that concludes this video. I'm probably going to spend the rest of my night editing this video. So uh, yeah, I hope that you all enjoyed it. Be sure and check out the Equine in Theory podcast. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me for my day. It's not super, you know, whoa, everything's crazy. Jill's doing so many things. Um, it's This is my day. I can work with ponies and... Do school stuff and stress. Stress the whole time. Oh my god. Now it's time to stop looking at a camera. I, like a triangle. Like, hello. Yeah, how's it going? <laughs> oh god. Okay. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Be sure and check out my podcast. And I will catch you guys next Monday. La -la -la -la. That was so lame. I, oof, oh my god. I'm just gonna stop.